Aloha. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Master Paul, and today is the 9th or 10th. It is a Thursday, March, and I'm grateful to be connecting with you today on this Facebook live stream. This is also going to be shared on a podcast. So for all those that are tuning in for the first time on podcast, welcome. So today we're going to be focusing on the power and significance, the nature of our heavens team. What is their purpose? Why are they with us? How long have they been with us? How do they serve us? And how we can communicate with them, hear their messages, and align to their intentions in serving our soul journey. So this is what you can look forward to today. If you happen to stumble across this live stream and or this podcast, my encouragement is that you stay and enjoy the entire hour. I do live streams uh, four times a week, Monday through Thursday. So if you ever have a desire to, to come and watch, then you just friend me on my Facebook page. And then you can also, of course, <coughs> um, uh, click yes at the end of the video, which gives you an opportunity to connect to my live streams. You'll be identified and notified as soon as they go live. All right. One of the great values of connecting with me on the actual live stream on Facebook is that you can be interactive. And for those that are listening on podcast for the first time, one of the things that you'll notice is that I stay in communication with all those that are checking in with me live. So that's an opportunity to receive that additional value. Of course, uh, anybody can contact me through my website, asoulhealer.com, and my email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com, which is a soul, a S O U L healer at yahoo.com. So in any case, welcome to everybody that's joining. I'm going to let the, uh, the numbers bump up till we get to more live. <clears throat> the reason I chose today's subject of aligning to our heavens team, understanding their purpose, their nature, uh, who they are, how they came to be our heavens team. Even today I will do some, uh, I'll definitely do a flow from someone's heavens team. One of the lucky ones that are watching me live will, uh, will choose you and I will connect to your heavens team and I will offer you a message from them. Our, our heavens teams uh, have a significant value in our life and uh, you will start to understand that the more in this teaching today. Now, the first time I came across this understanding was many, many years ago in my spiritual aspirations, I had heard that we all have a team in heaven. And I'd heard a variety of pieces of information regarding the how many there were and, and you know, but I never really received any significant validations uh, as to um, more information, uh, their purpose, their value, etc. <clears throat> and then uh, my teacher, Master Shah, uh, who has written over 20, New York, 20 books, 10 of which are New York Times bestsellers, on the soul, on the power and significance of soul to heal itself and connection to our beloved creator. I started to have a much greater appreciation and understanding. And so the information I share with you today will include a great deal of the wisdom that has been shared from Master Shaw in his many books, many, many books. Uh, including the power of soul, soul healing miracles, um, the soul song, soul dance. Uh, all of these books are extraordinary in their own accord and carry with them such significant wisdom uh, and, and, and power to bring balance and healing into our own lives through our own efforts. So it's truly remarkable when we start to understand the significance of our soul and its power to bring about balance where there is imbalance. And a great deal of it is about alignment. If you watched my live streams, uh, even earlier this week, two days ago, I did an entire uh, hour on the nature of soul. <clears throat> and um, it was truly a remarkable recording because uh, I was just able to read straight from Master Shah's book on what is soul. This was from his book called The Power of Soul. And uh, I just read straight from his book uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. And the information was, was enlightening to me again. I had read it before, I have taught it, but each time I reread it, I get deeper layers of aha moments. So I encourage any listener to, to, to acquire that book from Dr. and Master Shah. That's the name on the book as the author is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I tried to cover up the microphone there. Don't get a sneeze too often during these events. 
name of the book is The Power of Soul. <clears throat> and so uh, I'm going to stop for a moment and pause and acknowledge everybody. So welcome CJ, Aloha Tammy, welcome Meg, Aloha Kristen Strachan, welcome Randy, good to see you here Randy, welcome Zilki, Aloha Karen, and Dana, good to see you Dana, thank you for your comments yesterday, and thank you also Dana for uh, suggesting to CJ to, uh, to receive the value from these wisdom and teachings. Aloha Linda, Aloha Ilona, coming in from the UK. Hi, Amy. I'm not sure that I've seen you here before, but welcome. Happy that you're here. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Jennifer Crest Smith. Welcome, Gnu. Up early, are you? Coming in from India. Welcome, Susan. Uh, welcome. And Susan's coming in from British Columbia area. Welcome, welcome. Alicia Jade Kwan coming in from Australia. We've got the whole world joining us today. Welcome, Janet. And also, welcome, Angie. Welcome, Ale. Hey, good to see you pop in there, Jennifer. I usually see your name in the sharing. I don't always get to see it pop up otherwise. Welcome, Master Deborah. Welcome, Sondra. Welcome, Brenda. Good to see you here, Brenda. Welcome, Pat. <coughs> and welcome, Esther. Okay, and we're growing. And, and Janet says she's coming in from Tasmania. Uh, beautiful. I, I truly am disappointed I didn't get a chance to go see that beautiful country when I was in Australia for three months. I was about 15 years ago. Um, but you know, you can only accomplish so much in three months, right? <laughs> so welcome everybody. <clears throat> so let us connect first, heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. For those that are listening for the first time, either on audio or podcast, that would mean you start, start your hands in a prayer position in front of your heart center and you drop your left hand in front of your heart center and the right hand is still remains gently pointed towards heaven <clears throat> this is what's called the soul light soul service hand position and it's basically what's called a hand mudra that assists us to have a a physical body connection uh, to our energetic body and also allows us to connect further to the divine realms and so the right hand being pointed towards heaven connects to heaven and the left hand over the heart center creates the completion of this hand mudra connection. So let us do that. <clears throat> and then I will call forth the beings of light. They're all beings of the light side, including all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, dear our beloved divine creator. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask most humbly and sincerely that you join us today. Please come to sit in each of our heart centers. Dear our individual heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, deeply respect you, truly grateful for your incredible and unconditional service to each of us on our own soul journey. We're very honored and grateful for your presence in every moment in our life and we ask for you to be present at this time <clears throat> for this wisdom teaching and lessons and blessings we ask that you please assist master paul to offer any guidance wisdom and insights that are relevant and important for all of those watching and listening at this time dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes love you honor you appreciate you respect you we ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to please join us at this time to uh, bless us to open our hearts open our souls to receive the highest and best wisdom that you have to offer us at this time we ask that the source soul song of love peace and harmony bless us all to clear our blockages to open our heart and to align more to our soul on the wisdom and guidance from our heavens team. So for all those that are new watching this for the first time, listening for the first time, this source soul song is a blessing. Close your eyes to receive. Let us begin. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. 
ลือลาลีลือลาโอไอวัวฉันฮัลลิงวัวไอทรามรันลีวังลิงรงฮัลมูชิร์ชงชงไอพิงอันเสชงไอ Ping on a say, I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Happy Halloween, Puvai Kako. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? That was Hawaiian. One more time, with all our heart, to connect hearts and hearts, soul to soul. Join with me. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, la, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula. Hallelujah! Wo ai wo xin her ling, wo ai tran ran lei, wang li ying rong her mu shi sheng, xiong ai ping an er xie. Xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so, thank you to the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony for its unconditional service. For those that are new, this Soul Song is um, a world song. It is in over fifty languages, and you can find out more information at lovepeaceharmony.org.org. For those that are watching the live stream, of course, our beloved Kristen has posted all this. She is on top of it. <clears throat> uh, let's give Kristen a big hand. Thank you, Kristen. You're so awesome. She does a great job. Send her lots of love, guys. She's awesome. And so let me welcome everybody else who's tuned in here today. Welcome Edna. Welcome Nina. Welcome Johnny. And I see Ilona saying you came in from Lithuania at two in the morning. Wow, you're a trooper. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> welcome, Sarah MacArthur. Emma, good to see you here, Emma. And welcome, Elizabeth. Katie, Katie Nada, good to see you, Katie. And Johannes has joined us. <clears throat> And welcome, Randy. Okay, we've got a lot going on today. Heaven's teams have definitely gathered. They have some wonderful sharing. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, Rihanna. Welcome, Lena. And <clears throat> our Heaven's team. What is the Heavens Team? Why is it important, and how do we connect to our Heavens Team? So the first thing is, what is a Heavens Team? Well, first I'll share with you what Master Shaw shares with us, and then I'll do a soul reading so that we can hear from them. <clears throat> I will choose one person's Heavens Team today, and I'll do a reading from them for you, so that you have an opportunity to. Um, uh, Connect to them more. 
and I'll also share with you today how you can further connect with them. Uh, if anybody's interested on individual soul readings, then absolutely you can contact me through my website, asoulhealer.com, or my, uh, my email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Okay. <clears throat> so what is a Heaven's Team? As souls, that's what everyone and everything is, in essence. Our beloved Creator created everything, and everything has Creator in it. Therefore, it has spirit. Therefore, it has soul. And every soul carries the message, and that message is love. Unfortunately, over time, we tend to get that message tainted, which is the precursor to karma, or spiritual virtue and spiritual debt. And so our souls fall out of alignment with our original Creator. And in, in that falling out of alignment with the original message of love, we have to make processes to realign ourselves to that original love. And we do that through uh, opening our hearts, doing our best to reverse wrong choices that we may have made. We can do forgiveness, which I've taught many, many times about. <clears throat> there are many things that we can do to bring about balance to our soul and its journey. But one of the things that happens is souls, uh, they have no expiration date. Souls begin with Creator and they finish with Creator. They begin and they have many, many experiences in all time. And over time, this, these gaining of experiences cause them to make better and better and better choices. But in the process of making a better choice, they probably made a mistake. And so they, meaning we, we are the physical um, representation of a soul in its experiential nature. So our soul lives forever, we do not. We ha are the physical representation, go out and have experience, and create hopefully more positive virtue and good experiences for our soul so that it can return to its original creator as quickly as possible. So what is the purpose of our Heavens team in relationship to our soul journey? <clears throat> our Heavens team, and by the way, for those that came in a little late, uh, two days ago I did a recording on the, the nature of soul, its characteristics, its power, its significance, uh, how to better communicate with it. So if you missed that, please scroll back on my Facebook page to two days ago and you'll see that. For all those watching on, on podcast, you should be able to access that as well as I'll be posting that. Um, our Heavens team is, is truly assigned to us. There are some that are volunteers and they can range in the number and they can range in the duration of time that they're with us. Now, a Heavens team is there to assist us with our soul's tasks. A soul has a task. A soul, your soul, my soul, we came in for a reason and for a purpose. And the purpose tends to be always the same, but in order to get to the end result, we have to accomplish certain things along the way. The end result is to fully realign with our beloved Creator. Now to get from where we're at to that, that means what's called purification. Purification is the process of releasing all that is not in alignment with our beloved Creator and attaining or retaining all that is in alignment with our beloved Creator. So what is not in alignment is all of our thoughts, all of our words, and all of our actions that are not in alignment with love because that is the original message, that is the original purpose and energy, that is the original everything. We are at our purest being that same thing. We are our purest love. We have never not been the purest love. We have always been that because we are of and from the Creator. However, we have, over the course of time, made choices that are free will based choices that have brought us out of alignment with that original uh, awareness and knowingness. And so when we come into this physical experience, we are assigned Heaven's teams. You want to think of them as, anybody ever go bowling, you know, you bowl the ball and it's got the 10 pins at the end of the 30 feet of lane, however long that lane is. Well, bowling is a uh, it's, it's either do or die. You throw the ball and you're either you hit the pins and you win or you're a gutter ball, which means you lose. Okay? Well, you want to think of a heavens team as rubber bumpers along the gutter. You ever do that when you're a kid? They put up these air bumpers and I, in, the, in that little rut 
uh, that runs between the lanes, and you throw the ball, and if it's going towards the gutter, it hits that one uh, bumper, and it shoots over to the other side, but eventually it hits the pins down the middle. It never actually goes into the gutter, does it? That's what a heaven's team is. They're there to go a little bit this way, go a little bit this way. They set up the conditions in our life that we can maintain our intention and our goal that our soul came in with. They bring about the highest and best conditions for us to accomplish our task. And again, very often our task is to assist us with uh, clearing up our spiritual debts, bringing more virtue into our life, being a far greater service to all those outside of us, and uh, clearing our own love blockages for self. Because remember, one of the original and the most important truths is that we are and have always been the highest purity, the highest divine love that is entirely possible because we are from that original creative soul. <clears throat> and although that is true for every soul, it seems so very far from us uh, that it, it becomes very task-like just to get back to that truth. And so uh, there are a number of us, if I ask you to raise your hand, I'd probably see 90% of the hands go up, that have significant blockages with loving self. Okay, this is an example where our Heavens team can assist us because in, in not loving ourselves, who are we truly separate from? From our Creator. Because what are we? We are love. We are love at the highest and purest source. And yet we are separate from that love because of not loving ourselves enough. And the list goes on. I mean, there's so many different things that separate us from this source. Our Heavens teams give us uh, conditions and um, they bring, they bring uh, uh, possibilities and obstacles and opportunities into our life to see to uh, bring transformation to so that we can become closer to our beloved creator so that we can release the blockages however they show up so that we can move uh, closer to more virtue and away from the debt <coughs> so let me offer flow at this time from uh, all heavens teams I will ask for a spokesperson from the Heavens team to speak uh, to all of you about the nature and their purpose beyond what I've uh, shared. And then um, I will do an individual reading for, for one of you. And so, uh, and you can also at this time, you can make a request, you know, pick me, pick me. You can tell me why you should be the one. I'm going to check guidance anyway. Um, so don't take it personally. It's if, if you are chosen, it's because heaven would, will tell me that this person and the information that comes from that communication will impact the most souls that are listening. Okay? All right. <clears throat> and so for those that are listening for the first time, what is a soul reading, just so you know? As a student of Master Shah, I have been very blessed to gently and over time open my spiritual channels which includes the third eye channel, direct knowing channel, uh, um, the soul language and translation channel, and the direct soul communication channel. And over time, I have practiced, you know, every day for years and years and years, and I'm able to clearly hear messages from um, beings of light that are above this realm. And so I simply connect with them and ask them to come forth and offer the message, all right? That's what a soul reading is. And again, if anybody would like to receive these personally, just contact me. I'm happy to set up an appointment for you. So I will connect now. So dear the soul of all the Heavens teams, the leaders in charge of the Heavens teams, could you please offer a message at this time for all of those watching so that they have a better understanding of the nature, power, and significance of the teams in general and their purpose in general. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is 
one of the committee leaders for the heavens teams for the human beings on earth my purpose as one of the committee leaders is to ascertain if all of those assigned to the heavens teams for the seven plus billion souls on earth are staying in alignment with their overall purpose each of the teams for an individual soul has an individual leader those leaders are responsible for being in tune with everything that is happening for the individuals they in essence are the orchestrator of the choir of the music so to speak and they are aware fully of the soul the soul's blueprint that they are responsible for they are aware of the intention of all of those that will be coming into that soul's life of all of the conditions good and bad that could occur including the potential for accidents the potential for meeting soulmates the potential for raises the potential for financial wealth and suffering all possibilities the leaders of each individual's heavens team are aware this is their key responsibility they then guide the other members of the team to assist and accomplish much like what master paul said bumping them left and bumping them right to mostly assist the soul in achieving what it intended it is a very unique uh, responsibility because there can be no impedance upon free will the soul itself however is the boss and so the soul's free will overrides the physical ego personality counterpart that is representing the soul in this life and so the team assists in that respect not to impede or impose but rather to assist in the maintenance of the alignment of that which the soul requests and knows is best for it this includes bringing about conditions in which people meet bringing about conditions in which accidents are limited or minimized and or those that are met as a result of what could be considered unpleasant or traumatic those set of conditions create a different set of conditions that then bring about what is hoped to be a positive end result in every case it is important to understand that heaven is behind all souls one million percent there is no intention whatsoever to accomplish anything but the highest and best for all souls involved and this is where so many on earth suffer and they fail to recognize that everything that happens has a much much higher purpose that all those things that are labeled as negative unpleasant painful suffering and more actually have a much higher purpose and intention if only the opportunity could be seen this also is part of the role of a heavens team their purpose is to bring about the conditions per the blueprint of the soul that the individual can then decide what to do with it and the pushing of the bumpers if you will is to decide that this is an opportunity if it is a negative experience to transform the conditions to a higher perspective to do forgiveness if they are aware enough to do so and to bring about a result where those unpleasant things do not happen again if 
it is a positive occurrence, say, winning the lottery, then the team goes about how to best ensure a propensity of success through service to others, through wise choices with those blessings, and so forth. So these are uh, representative examples of the nature of each individual's heaven's team. The question is being asked even now as I am speaking by those watching, but who is on my heaven's team? I think I have been told by somebody that Jesus is always with me, that Mother Mary is always with me, that Kuan Yin is always watching over me, and so forth. And so the question that is being raised by several in this audience is, who is on my heaven's team? The answer is, there are many souls that can be on a heaven's team, ranging from three to well over a thousand. And this is dependent upon your soul, its soul standing, your path and blueprint, and how many are needed to assist you in accomplishing your soul's blueprint task. The souls that assist you are by name are not so relevant as is the level of those souls that are assisting you. The quantity has to do with the size of the task. The level has to do with the necessity for your level of purification that your soul intended in this life. Additionally, the heavens teams communicate with each other, especially in relationship to karmic conditions that lead to uh, conditions in which two are to come together to reach a uh, end result that is beneficial for all involved. And this includes both positive and negative. Each soul's heavens teams often work in community in correlation to bring about the best set of conditions to which the opportunities that present themselves be it a very negative viewed condition although in heaven they don't view it as negative they always view it as opportunity uh, or something else like a soulmate relationship in either case these teams are working to bring about the highest and best results this is a very good and large overall understanding of what is a heaven's team and their purpose in their service to each of the individual souls. They all report, of course, to the leader and the leader is responsible to those above them for the overall purpose of realigning all souls to oneness. I am honored as one of the members of the committee for the human race in the Heavens Team Department. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I hope, I hope somebody recorded that. I'd like to hear that one again. That was pretty good stuff. So thanks. We have a lot of new people that have joined us. We'll go backwards here just a minute and acknowledge everybody new. <clears throat> okay, so welcome Angel. Uh, welcome Sharon Dodds. Welcome Carol and Tammy Lee Ward. Welcome Alexandria. Welcome Lisa. Welcome Tawana. And welcome Ann Karen. So Anna asked a very good question. Uh, so you know, is there anything you, I can do to help more clearly understand if there really is a God and if God really exists? Yeah, that's a tough one, isn't it? So what can I offer? Practice, practice, practice. There is such a thing as what's called a spiritual third eye. And every human being has this uh, 
possibility of opening it. It is one of the spiritual channels. And um, that gives you visual validation. Everybody wants to open their third eye so they can definitely see angels and everything else. And then they're 100% sure that there is a God. Um, unfortunately, at least in my experience, it doesn't always work out that way. One of the reasons <clears throat> why it doesn't work out that way is that's the short road. That's the easy road. That, um, that says I don't have to try. It says, I will try once you prove you're real. And uh, that's not how, at least in my observation, that's not how heaven works. Um, this is about um, trusting by trusting. And um, I would recommend attending anything related to open spiritual channels. We're offering one this weekend at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu. <clears throat> um, Kristen, she's always on top of these things. I'm sure she'll put the link into the website or into the uh, into the uh, chat box here. Uh, but they're doing an open spiritual channels class this weekend, Master Patrick and Master Satender. And they're very, very uh, exceptional classes. And um, basically there is a pathway in which you can open your spiritual channels to do, for example, what I've done. This took me many, many years of practice to connect to heaven in this way and receive this information. Uh, but... I went through the processes of not believing it to, well, maybe, maybe it is, you know, someone from heaven talking to me, or maybe it's my mind. Maybe it's just, I'm making this stuff up. And, and, and then, you know, I started using words I haven't used in 20 years and information. I had no clue what that information meant or where it was coming from. And pretty soon I came to realize that, yeah, there really is heaven. And yeah, they're really using my, my mouth to share this wisdom and information. And then there's other validations that can occur with time. Why can't we all connect to heaven in such a simple and easy way? Uh, because we've distanced ourselves from heaven, from uh, distancing ourselves, ourselves from love. The more we open our heart, the more we align to love. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that. It's now up. The more we distance uh, our, from our own heart and from our Creator, we, we fall into this place of distrust with our beloved Creator. And in order to find our way back there, we need to open our heart. We need to release negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, greed, corruption, all of those things that have brought blockages to our heart. And there is a process to do that. That's why, I've, that's why I follow this teacher, Master Shah. That's why I recommend his books. That's why I'm here spending my valuable time offering these teachings complimentary because they can change a person's life. They can awaken more souls. And the more souls that awaken, the more souls that um, recognize the power of their own soul to bring healing to their own life, then, then the better off the whole world is because we're all one anyway. But a big part of it is awakening. <clears throat> and so that's the purpose of, of this live stream and all of the live streams that I do. So thank you for that question. I'm sure everybody can appreciate that answer and it will serve everybody in a very valuable way. <clears throat> so now um, I would like to offer a, a reading for an individual for their individual's heavens team, for what might be best for them. And so, um, let's see if anyone said me, me, me earlier. Okay, so I haven't seen any requests come up. That's okay, I've seen all of your names. Let me just ask Kevin. <coughs> So even before you popped up there, Tammy, um, I got your name. And so I'm going to do a reading for Tammy Lee. <coughs> and remember that um, I don't think I've ever spoken to Tammy, so I don't know anything about her. Um, and I don't know why heaven chose. So my guess is the message will benefit everybody. Okay. To the soul of Tammy Lee Ward, Tammy's Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, love you and respect you. Bow down to you as appropriate. I ask most humbly, 
if you could offer a message for Tammy and the nature of uh, her purpose and intention per her soul's guidance, soul's blueprint, and how you can best assist her and how she can best communicate with you to bring about the highest and best results for her soul journey. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> so it's um, a message I'm getting. It's it's a female, and she's a second in charge on your heavens team. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. I'm hearing her name is Esther or something like Esther. My beloved Tammy, I love you. It has been a great honor to be a member of your Heavens team. I have been on your team. This is the third time. I volunteered this time because I had such a joyful experience before. Because your soul is very exuberant and excited to ex expand its path. You have a great deal to look forward to in this life. There are a tremendous amount of opportunities for you. It is important to remember what my, uh, she's saying commander, so the, 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 the one of the souls that talked earlier, um, said that everything, be it viewed negative or positive, is an opportunity. You will have many opportunities to more fully open up to your greatest soul potential in this life. There are and have been in the past many great beings that have assisted humanity to rise above the darkness. And it is so in this time as well. Please pay attention to those beings. The wisdom they share is designed to help all souls. As one of the key leaders on your team, my first comment to you, my dear one, is that you listen more, trust us more. We communicate with you in almost every moment. I know that sounds a bit odd, but we are present with you in all time. And so, even as something like, eat this or don't eat that, we are nudging you, as the word was used earlier, because we know that for you to reach your soul's intention, you must live long enough to do so. And so something like food can assist you to live long enough to accomplish that task. We are always giving you little insights and nudges from where to turn instead of the usual path to not to listen to what that one person is saying or to turn off that program because it is harming you. Whatever it may be, we are always present to communicate with you. And this it is so for all of souls. It is the inability to hear us and to stay in a place of numbness that inhibits your growth and causes our work to be substantially harder than should be. For you, dear one, you worry too much. You have great, uh, not great fear so much, but a lack of trust in yourself and your uh, intuition and choices. You look more than you should for 
approval outside of you for what you should be able and can do on your own and our encouragement to you is to trust yourself substantially more this has associations with a lack of honoring of self and a lack of trusting yourself you were taught uh, I wish to say mostly by your father a very beautiful soul to you did many things to to be approved to please and this nature carries through but it is not necessary at this time in your life this is the key message for you because if you can move towards not looking for approval and being confident in self then you will be able to hear us better and stay substantially more in alignment I am honored to offer this message to you at this time I love you we on your heavens team love you how 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> okay so hopefully that resonated with you thank you for being um, the one to receive that message <clears throat> all right so let us do a practice at this time uh, that can assist all of us to aligning with our heavens team if any of you uh, would like to receive individual Heavens Team communication, I do offer soul communication, of course, for that and so much more. And I'm happy to serve you in that way. Aloha, LaRonda. Welcome. Aloha, Stephanie. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. <coughs> and Aloha, Mary Smith. If you just came in, Mary, you missed quite a bit. I hope you can go back and watch this. Good. Tammy says so very true. Again, I have no idea. I, I truly have not even communicated with Tammy. I don't know anything about her. So thank you, Heaven, for that clear message. Um, and welcome, Jasmine. So now we're going to do a practice <coughs> Excuse me, for aligning to our Heaven's team. And in doing this, we're going to employ the four powers, body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. We're going to invite in our Heavens team. We're going to do a forgiveness practice with them for our lack of alignment to them. And then we're going to ask them for a message. I will ask them to give you a message. Now, if we move into a deep enough space, you will hear a message. And then you can report in what that message is. Do not have attachment to having, you know, five minutes of flow like what I was able to accomplish. Almost all of us that start in practice of opening our spiritual channel start with one word. So be okay if all you receive is one word or one sentence or nothing at all. Because nothingness means you're very in a pure state. Have no attachments to what you may or may not hear. First to move into the space, allow yourself to receive a message. Okay? Let's start with placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Drop your left hand in front of your heart. <clears throat> Keep your right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Again, we start like a prayer position. Left hand drops in front of the heart. Right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. Ideally, you'd like your feet flat on the floor, unless you're in lotus position. Ideally, you want your back away from the back of the chair. Close your eyes. If you're looking at me, your eyes are not closed. And I will, I will speak. If the words are comfortable to you, please repeat. Dear my beloved Creator, the Divine, I love you. I am deeply honored to be one of your children. I am so grateful for all of the opportunities that you have brought to me in this life. The ones that I have commented as negative and the ones that I have seen as wonderful. I thank you in every case for the opportunity to move more to the pure love that you are, that I know I am. 
I thank you for the Heavens teams that you have given me to assist me in more fully aligning to my soul and my soul's intentions in this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of my Heavens team, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, truly, most humbly appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for choosing me to be on my Heavens team. I thank you for your unconditional service, your love, your nudging, and your guidance to keep me on task and on the path that my soul intended. Please forgive me, my beloved Heavens team and my soul for my ego, for my very busy mind, including negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, my ego and my attachments to the way things have to be. Please forgive me for not listening to you when all you were trying to do was assist me. Please forgive me for not awakening sooner. I am deeply humbled and grateful. I ask at this time that as I tune in to receive a message from you, that you bless me and give me a message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we will do a chanting first to clear all of our blockages, and then we will pause to receive a message. We're going to chant the words divine forgiveness first to clear our blockages. So repeat after me. Dear the soul of the divine's forgiveness. Dear the soul of all of the forgiveness, treasures, and transmissions in Da Quan Shu. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please offer a blessing to open my heart, release blockages that inhibit me from hearing messages from my soul and my heavens team? Thank you. So again, with your eyes closed, seeing golden or rainbow light coming into your heart center, we will chant divine forgiveness for a few minutes to clear the blockages, to prepare the house to receive the message, clean the house for the guests. So let us chant, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness 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 Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Dear, all, I'm just complete chanting. I will offer a blessing. All my forgiveness treasures, please turn on, subdivide your soul, go to everyone listening, everyone watching this video, all souls that listen, whenever they listen, offer additional blessings to release these associated blockages so they can hear more clearly their soul and your heavens team as appropriate divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness Divine forgiveness, 
Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. I forgive you, please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, harmony. I forgive you, please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony, bring love, peace, harmony. The forgiveness blessings will continue. Now silently, I want you to ask your Heavens team, Dear the soul of my own Heavens team, I love you. I'm so grateful for all that you have done for me, for saving my life, for honoring me, for choosing to serve my soul journey, for all of the loving messages you remind me of when I am not in the right place. I truly cannot Thank you enough. I cannot offer enough gratitude to show you how grateful I am. I ask most sincerely for a message, and I will be quiet while you offer this message. I await this message from you. So I will remain quiet for one minute. Write down the message if you need to. Feel the love from your Heaven's team. I see them in a circle around you. Thirty more seconds. Just keep your mind in your heart center. It's okay if you receive nothing. And now in your mind, bow your head to those beautiful souls that are with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> what a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. I see some people are already sharing. Feel free to share your message. Unless it's private, you don't have to. So Karen says, let go and open up. I have overcome and accomplished many obstacles in my life. Let go of what doesn't serve your soul. What a beautiful message. Thank you for sharing, Karen. Don says that the souls over my family will prepare my doctors and family for the surgeries coming up. Wonderful, beautiful. Sometimes they want to tell us things that will take stress off of us about our loved ones. 
they always have messages for us and guidance for us. It's about listening. And that can happen in any moment that we choose to connect with them. You've just received a simple practice. You stop for a minute. You say, I love you. I'm so grateful for your service to me. And then you just chant for a few minutes. You could chant love, peace, and harmony that we just chanted earlier today. You could chant divine forgiveness. And then stop and just keep your, your mind in your heart center. Be very relaxed and message will come. Very, very simple. And so Tammy Lee says, her message was, no more tears. We are here with you. Beautiful. Stephanie says her message was follow your dreams even if you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet. Dean's message is blessed me keep moving forward. Alexandria's message is we are here. We are all here for you. So far I'm getting a yes on all of your messages as accurate. Ali says I heard it's okay keep calm that it was very emotional. And Susan received a message. You have taken the right fork in the road. My heart is being healed and cleansed. Take time for your soul and don't feel guilt. Kristen Strachan uh, received a message. You are awash with love. Love is always your answer. Angel received. Let it go. Let it out let it all unravel let it free and it shall be on the road on which we travel Janet received the message we love you we love you we love you trust in us for your finances her left ear was hurting she states at the end of the message beautiful yeah the heavens team will touch you they will give you physical notification of a message do not be surprised uh, Tammy said you are oh, okay thank you Tammy um, Anna our ancestors are always here with us they are the ones who form the individuals we are you're never alone much love surrounds you beautiful message and then Tammy says her right hand was moved to touch her face Sonja received one word people beautiful thank you Lisa Marie says you can do anything you put your mind to everything is coming your way what a beautiful message from your heavens team, Lisa Marie. Brianna's message, my team told me it's okay to start dating. Great. Uh, Karen receives a message, I am glad she has found me. <laughs> thank you, Karen. Okay, so now we're moving to the thank yous and the gratitudes. Again, offer gratitude to heaven, to, to source. And I offer my gratitude to my teacher, Master Shah, who's given me these, these skill sets. Okay. Uh, Katie Nada, how humbled they are to be at our service. Yes, yes, they are. They are so happy we listen to them and speak with them. They are always here for us and they are most happy to serve. Remember what I, what I said earlier, guys, about what is the purpose of every soul? The purpose of a soul is to serve. The purpose of serving is to elevate our soul's standing. Service is making others happier and healthier. So your heaven's teams are not in the physical world. So they have difficulty generating virtue. They only generate virtue when they do good things, when they make others happier and healthier. And if they're doing their best, but they're beating their heads against the wall because you're not listening to them, then you're not, you're not helping them to do service. Therefore, they're not generating good virtue. Therefore, their soul journey cannot be enhanced to go higher because we're over here beating our head against the wall. So one of the great values is that all of soul journeys are being enhanced by this service. And Richard Mall says, reassurance of positive outcome on finances uh, and giving thanks. Okay. So, uh, very powerful. I see that a lot of people joined in the last 15 or 20 minutes or last half hour. I do recommend you watch the first part. There is a lot of wisdom throughout this uh, a live stream. 
And um, I want to finish by offering uh, uh, a calling to my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday phone call. Uh, it is for the foundational energy practices, including the seven chakras and the five major foundational energy centers, which includes the third eye, the kundalini area, the heart center, the lower dantian, and the zhu chao, which is the intelligence center. <clears throat> the phone number is 213-416-1560, extension 129-2267-POUND. And you can always watch the video again or listen to the audio again to repeat it. Um, and I, Kristen's always so on top of things, she's probably going to put it in there for you guys. So Kristen, uh, truly awesome. I wouldn't be able to, you know, there's so many lives. Uh, there's a beautiful woman called me today. She's had 13 years of suffering from what, what her husband did to her children. Uh, and, and she connected me today because of Kristen's work. You know, Kristen is saving so many lives. It's beautiful. So make sure you give her your love. <clears throat> so we offer our gratitude thank you divine thank you Tao. thank you the source our beloved creator we thank all beings of light that came to serve on this day we thank our individual heavens teams guides angels and saints you may uh, we ask all of them to respectfully return gong song gong 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 song and for anybody that would like to connect with me a soul healer dot com a soul healer at yahoo.com or of course through facebook messenger so love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you for those that join on the audio call tomorrow on the telephone for the foundational energy practices i'll see you then it's uh, one o'clock it's one o'clock hawaii time i didn't tell you this so i need to tell you this 3 p.m pacific time 7 p.m eastern time um, it is 11 a.m in australia about midnight in the UK, 5.30 a.m. in India. And that will all shift one hour and just a few days because of the time change around the world. So we'll see you then. Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye, everybody.